What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. Today we're doing Be Your Own Bodyguard Part 7. This is deploying a concealed carry pistol in a grappling situation. A lot of times, you know, when you're attacked or fights, always wind up in a grappling situation. Maybe your life is in danger, somebody's got you on the ground, they're mounted and trying to crush your face with a brick. Um, we're gonna show how to deploy a concealed carry um, from a mount position, from the appendix as well as the, the four or five o'clock. And a few weeks ago, Ty did a video on appendix carry, and there's a lot of guys in there. There's always a guy, guys that say this, like, "Oh, I don't want to carry appendix because I want to shoot. I don't want to shoot my jalapeno popper off." The thing is, you you probably don't have one to begin with because you even say something stupid like that. Training a good holster eliminate that. So, carrying appendix is always the best way to in, in any kind of fighting situation. You can access with both hands, and I'm going to show you. Um, it's easier to protect and it's always easier, easier to deploy um, in a grappling situation. So we're gonna show from the mount, um, from the like I said, appendix, as well as the four pop clock. All right, so I'm mounted, I'm getting hit in the face. I wanna go ahead and put my hands out to protect myself. Now here in a appendix carry, one benefit is all I really gotta do is push him off, grab, you know, clear my shirt or garment, hold him back and I can shoot right here, okay? I can put it to him, I can shoot it from the tuck position. I can do whatever. If he's coming over the top of me, like this, I can shoot him here too. So I can shoot from this tuck position. I, I can just push him back. I could, let me uh, reholster. I could go ahead and start, like you're striking me. I could go ahead and push him forward and hold him up and then shoot him here. So that's the benefit of carrying in a appendix is I can pretty much hold him back, pull out, and shoot from this tuck position. I can lift my hips up and throw him forward, and I do that as well, okay? Now you can see even my knife, I can't reach my knife in, the, in this situation to even deploy it. I've got appendix again, so what if Ty is on my firearm? So he's all over the top of it, right? All I need to do is again, buck forward, get him out of the way. I can go ahead and use my elbows to push him up, and then I can, you know, clear my fire, my garment, access my firearm, and I can shoot anywhere I need to. I can pop him right here in the femoral, and uh, you know, fight over with. I've now got my pistol in the uh, four or five o'clock position, and absolutely impossible to get to because uh, I'm being mounted, legs in the way. All right, so if I'm getting struck, you know, all this kind of stuff, I want to keep my hands up to protect myself. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some basic jujitsu. I'm going to go ahead and push it forward with my hips. And I'm going to grab here. And then I'm going to grab his shoulders and pull myself up. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and scoop this right here. Wrap his arms, wrap his leg. And I'm going to take this arm and just push myself forward. And now I can go ahead and clear and address him right here. I can also get back and break myself in a dress here. Maybe I don't want to shoot him. I just want to get, so once here I can use a strike and then, uh, you know, break contact and tell him to stop what he's doing. Now, everybody watches UFC, so everybody kind of knows the guard. So if he has me in the guard, what I can do is, is I can just go ahead and take my elbows, put into his thighs to break his guard and uh, access my firearm. Now, Ty has already kind of got me in guard. And so from here, let's say that he's got me in guard and I'm punching him. And so he can go ahead and uh, pull his firearm. Uh, go ahead and walk to the top. So I'm gonna stem up, try to, to try and get him away from my face and try and trap an arm. From there I can access and I can put it right here in his gut and come up for a headshot if I need to. Or I can tell him, get back, get back, get off or I'm gonna shoot you, depending on what the situation is. So you see he has my legs hooked and he's pushing me back, so I'm kind of can't I can't really go forward. All right, guys. So that was Be Your Own Bodyguard Part Seven. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments below. Um, just you know, you can rewind, play, rewind, play, practice this stuff, and kind of show the uh, benefits of where to carry a, a firearm. There's a lot more moves trying to access the firearm from that rear position. Let's say my arm's injured, though. I'm completely you know screwed trying to get over here to this side with this arm. Whereas appendix, I could access with either firearm. 
or with with your hand, hand I'm sorry. Anyhow, guys, take care. Thanks for watching Black Scout Survival.